Welcome to the Jim Green Footwear channel. Today we're going to be doing a six month review of the latest addition to our fairly range, the Shuli. Later on in this video, we're also going to be giving away a pair of Shuli, so stay tuned and we'll let you know how to enter. The reason that there's two pairs of boots in front of me is that both of them I've used for the annual Stitch Down Patina Thunderdome. The African Rangers I used in the first year of the competition and the Shulies I've used for this year. Now this competition you choose to wear a pair of boots for 6 months and at the end you are judged on the patina of your boots. So if you want to find out more how I got this pair of African Rangers to look the way it did, we'll put a link to that in this video and down below. And it's actually quite an interesting story how these boots got this patina. And now let's talk about my pair of Shulies. So the journey that my African Rangers went on is completely different to the pair of Shulies. Now that's because they are completely different boots and designed to do different things. So when we came out with the African Ranger, we wanted a very versatile, lightweight and affordable boot that we can offer to Rangers in Southern Africa. Now for those of you familiar with the African Ranger, you'll know that this is a great boot. But now many of my friends were starting to wear this boot and they kept saying to me, you guys really need to come up with a, with a footwear option that we can wear to the office, wear to a wedding on the weekend. So some of you would have watched our video on the Baobab boot and how it's made. And then this is the follow up video of how this boot is constructed. We'll put links to that video as well. But you'll see that through the development of that boot that we came out with a new last. Now when we came out with this new last, light bulb went off in my head that we can tie this last into something a little bit more formal. For those of you that have visited South Africa, you would have noticed that there's not a single person out there that isn't wearing or owns a pair of fellies. So when we were designing the Shuli, we had to come out with something a little bit different, but at the same time sticking to the traditional methods of a, of a chaka boot, or as we call it, a fault skin construction. So let's dive into my six month review of the Shuli and see if it met all the requirements that we set out to achieve. As soon as we came out with this boot and started putting pictures on our social media and website, I immediately started getting messages from my friends who weren't previously Jim Green fans, asking where they can get a pair of Shulies. So that's when I knew that this was going to be a good option. So my pair of Shulies definitely didn't have the adventures that my pair of African Rangers had. But yet, these guys were the old faithfuls every morning walking into the office, I was comfortable and also felt that I looked the part. Not only were they suitable for the office, but I found myself reaching for them on the weekends too for social events, especially on the occasions when you needed that slightly extra rugged touch. So this is just my personal opinion, but one thing I regret through my journey with my shooties is that I polished them with the beeswax. So a colleague of mine, my brother, who works with me in the office, he's been wearing a pair of shooties in our oily Houston brown as well, and he hasn't polished his. And here you can see the difference between the, the wear and tear of a polished pair and the unpolished pair. So this oily Houston Brown leather is new to our range and in a couple weeks time we'll be doing one of those videos where we show you two ways to clean this leather and we'll give you guys a better idea of what kind of look you want to go for. So on that note, this is how you can win yourself a pair of shooties. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, like this video and in the comment section below let us know what kind of look you would you would go for on your shooties. Would it be a beeswax polished look or would you leave them natural and rugged with a bit of sway cleaner down the line? Overall, I'm very happy how these boots came out. The design did exactly what we intended it to do and although it didn't have the crazy adventures that my African Rangers had, these shooties will always be with me on my daily adventures to the office. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to enter our competition and we'll see you on our next episode.